Okay, well, cheapest eGPU setup for a MacBook. Uh, this thing here looks absolutely Frankenstein. I'm just going to go through how I got it working and then the interesting facts about my particular system. So, uh, first you unplug the internal storage. This thing here that came with a MacBook and because this is the only port with PCIe 3x4 signaling which is plenty fast for a up to 2060 or like a 5600 XT so um, yeah you get a converter that converts a proprietary Apple slot into a M.2M key slot and you have to get an NVMe adapter at that so this thing here and then you plug another adapter which changes it to PCIe 3x4 well it's just by 4 but this thing communicating PCIe 3 so um, you plug the GPU into it and then you give it some sort of power and that's how it works um, but it's, it's a bit more complicated so uh, I shorted the PS on and the ground on the um, it, it's a it's a copper wire and some paper taped over it you short those two pins to trick the power supply into believing that it's uh, giving power to a computer that's on and then you give uh, you connect it to the graphics card my card here is a 1650 super so uh, it doesn't get bottleneck at all I've checked the IDA 64 memory benchmarks and stuff performs exactly the same as a desktop um, this power supply here really old so it only has Molex I use the this adapter double Molex into a 6 pin that came with a graphic, uh, graphics card if you have a newer power supply, you don't have to worry about that. Also, the reason why it's open is because I don't trust it to overheat supplying 100 watt of power, really. Um, what else? After you get this whole shebang going, you need somewhere else to run your Windows. In this case, uh, the easier step would just be installing Windows um, on a different computer and then and then hook your drive, in this case a uh, just a hard drive, onto your USB slot somewhere. Or if you're really rich, I mean you wouldn't do this because this whole thing cost me like twenty something dollars, and yeah, the whole point of this is cheap. So cheap, uh, you get Windows installed somewhere else, and then plug it into a USB port. Um, the reason for this is because Windows doesn't support installing over USB. So if I were just to like use the other USB uh, slot. Uh, for a Windows install USB and then trying to get Windows onto this thing through USB doesn't work unless you do Windows uh, Windows to go but there's so much cache uh, catch with Windows to go I don't think it's worth setting up this is actually a modified Windows to go I don't even know how I got this working so don't even ask me um, you also want a, w a USB hub unless you're using Bluetooth keyboard and mouse at which point you shouldn't even be doing this because the point of this is gaming and if you're mining on a laptop like this don't um, uh, what else okay so after you do this you power cycle the computer so after you get this whole thing physically set up uh, power cycle the laptop and then uh, if uh, if you see your graphic card in uh, the uh, device manager that means it's time to install the Nvidia drivers and if you can't install NVIDIA drivers and you have a like a desktop computer plug your graphic card into the desktop computer if you can um, and then uh, when, uh, after you install Windows, boot Windows and then install the NVIDIA driver there that might save you a bit of headache so uh, after you anyhow successfully get NVIDIA drivers onto this Windows copy here uh, you need to get a uh, NVIDIA ERA 43 fixer um, and that thing makes errors go away and you can actually use like the graphic card driver actually functions as normal uh, and I don't have the internal storage working because well I wouldn't be using this like the reason why I'm fil filming this is because my uni starts soon so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to tear this thing up um, after that your graphic card should just be working and you can just game away now uh, interesting facts uh, if you have the battery connector not attached, my computer is, is actually running by the way. Power goes from green to red. 
soon and uh, that just means it doesn't have uh, battery power and if I unplug this thing now it's finally be red if I unplug this thing uh, the whole system shuts down and if I plug it back in without the battery connected it will turn on automatically but it will limit the CPU power to 15 watt which is going to hamstring your game into around 50 frames plug this back in the maximum limit is up to 150 again um, and also, uh, even with my Frankenstein uh, thermal mod on the CPU heatsink, this thing doesn't actually, like, like this CPU 4770HQ doesn't suck more than 60 watts on this particular model. <coughs> I've tried getting Cinebench R15 over uh, 682, which is my max score, doesn't work. Someone else got 710 on a 2014 MacBook, so there's something about that. Um, yeah, and also power supply. This thing's really old. Pick it up from a computer in console cleanup that's running Pentium 4. I think this thing is 16, 16 years old at least. It doesn't supply over 100 watts without crashing my display driver, at which point my screen goes dark. So uh, I set it to 70% the card to 70% power in Afterburner, and that eliminates issues. So other than uh, Windows install, USB hub, and all that shebang, your system works marvelously. Uh, yeah.